Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to show you all my pickups for the month of March, so stay tuned. So the month of March was a really big month. Um, I added a lot of new items to the collection. I did a lot of buying on eBay and on Amazon. Um, a lot of different um, store exclusives. So I was going to take time to show you what all I picked up. First up, I got Neon Demon. Now this right here is one that I never did have in my collection. I've been reading a lot of reviews lately on this and decided to pick this one up. I got Inherit the Viper. Still haven't checked this one out yet. Looks pretty interesting. I got Uncut Gems, Richard Jewell, Come to Daddy, Bombshell, and speaking of bombs, I got The Grudge, and I got Fright Night. Now, I do already have Fright Night in the collection. I got the Twilight Time Edition, uh, but I did recently learn that there are more special features on here that were not included on the Twilight Time. So I decided just to pick this one up. I think I got it on Amazon for pretty cheap. And then from Shout Factory, I got The Wizard. Really nice release. And April Fool's Day. Radio Flash. I Am Fear, Big Fish and Begonia, Ron Ronja, the um, Robber's Daughter, this is the complete series, The Breadwinner, Another Day of Life, and My Neighbors, The Yamadas. Now, as far as these are concerned, these were not released during this month, um, but I have been waiting to complete, or actually to catch up on my um, G Kids collection, and I was able to find the slips on these. So I went ahead and purchased these from Amazon and from Target and a few of them from eBay. Okay, another big release this month was um, some of the Disney 4K um, 4Ks were released. So I'm going to just show you my regular 4K releases that I got from the Disney Movie Club. I got Monsters University, Up, Beauty and the Beast, Wall-E, Live Action Beauty and the Beast, Monsters Inc. This right here was a previous release that I never got. This is um, the Live Action Jungle Book. A Bug's Life. I also got Cars 3. This right here had been released a long time ago. Just never did pick it up and finally just decided to get it, get that while it was on a good deal on, um, on the Disney Movie Club website. And then also from Disney Movie Club I got this two pack um, Huck Finn and Tom and Huck. Um, this is a, of course a DVD but I did not have this one in my collection and I've heard a lot of good things about it and I did want to go ahead and add that to the collection. So next up, what I'll do is I'll show you my Disney still books from Best Buy. I got Wall-E, A Bug's Life, Up, Monsters, Inc., Monsters University. I do have videos of those unboxings. Um, if you'd like to check those out. I also got the Mondo Steelbook for A Quiet Place, which I really love this steelbook. Spies in Disguise. Trolls. Beauty and the Beast animated. Live action Beauty and the Beast. Jumanji The Next Level. Still need to check this one out. I got the Candyman edition from the UK. Um, this right here I believe was a Zavi exclusive. Did, I did an unboxing of this if you'd like to check that out. Another great movie this month was 1917. And um, Superman Red Sun, the Target exclusive. And then some of the regular releases that I got that go along with these are just the regular um, Blu-ray release for Red Sun. 
the 4K release for 1917. And then I have also been working on my Digibook collection. So I did do some um, buys from Amazon and from um, eBay. I picked up 300. Unforgiven. And All About Eve. And then a new release for this month in digibook form is um, is the Ten Commandments. Really nice. I enjoyed the Ten Commandments. This is a nice, um, thick digibook. And then from Everything Blue, I did um, order the Boys in the Hood um, exclusive 4K edition. Really nice. I haven't opened this one up yet. And I also picked up the Target exclusive for Spies in Disguise. So toward the beginning of March or the end of February, I did place an order from the Criterion website. They were having a sale. I did pick up All About Eve, Robinson Crusoe on Mars, The Squid and the Whale, Mildred Pierce, and Jubal. So very nice to have those added to my collection. Now there were some other sales that I um, participated in. I've got some videos of these, so I'm just going to kind of show you the stack. Um, but there was a Shout Select sale that I did a video on, if you'd like to check that out. Some really nice selections. Also, there was a um, Screen Factory sale. I believe this right here was at the end of February, uh, but I did not ever get my items in until um, you know middle March. They were waiting on one of the items to come in stock, so I did a video of that if you'd like to check it out. And then there was an MVD Rewind sale um, just a couple weeks ago. And I did pick up and added all these titles to my collection. I do have a video of that if you'd like to check it out. There were, about, there were about three titles that I did not get that I ended up getting from eBay and from Amazon. So I do have a complete set of MVD titles now, which is nice. And then there was a Kino Lorber sale. I got 31 titles from that sale and I did do a video on that. So here's one of the stacks. And here's the other. If you'd like to check out the video, um, I really appreciate that. If you'd like to check to see what I got. And then lastly, this week we've been getting all of our Star Wars um, editions that came out. Um, I did get the Star Wars: um, The Rise of Skywalker, um, just regular Blu-ray from the Disney Movie Club. Um, I got the Best Buy Still Book, the Walmart exclusive. And also the Target exclusive. And then I also picked up um, all of the 4K releases that were released for all the originals um, and the sequels and the prequels. I got those from the Disney Movie Club. And then lastly, I did get the um, Only at Best Buy um, box set, which is really nice. So I'll have a link to those videos too if you'd like to check those out. So overall, it was a very busy month. A lot of money was spent. Um, the past three weeks, I have been working from home, which gives me more opportunity to find out about the different sales and stuff that's going on. But as far as the month of April is concerned, I cannot imagine that I would purchase that much more. Um, surely there won't be very many sales going on. Plus, the um, fact that I won't be able to go into any of the stores to do any shopping will probably prevent me from getting too much in the month of April which I'm hoping. Um, but overall, it's a very busy month. Hopefully you were able to get all the items that you wanted um, for the month of March. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what all you picked up. I really do enjoy reading your comments. I really do like to interacting with everybody and seeing what you get. So this past Friday, I did do my first live stream and I do plan on continuing to do that. So please um, watch my channel to see whenever I might be doing that again. Um, I'm thinking I'll probably do it again this Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern. So if you'd like to check that out, you're more than welcome to come and join. Um, if you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram. So you can find me there, and we will see you next time.